right, let's head into our quick hitters of the day. Arky, where are you starting with your quick hitter? I'm looking at the Hornets and the Bucks tonight, where the Bucks are an eight and a half point favorite at home, Woo. and the total is two thirty. It is a lot of points, but it's kind of justified. Both these teams have been red hot recently. I think the Hornets have gone over in their last three games, three of the, or two of the last three for for the Bucks. And the Bucks, that's different for them because they're fourteen and seven on the season on the under. So. That's very different what we've seen recently from them. The, the, the Hornets are, have been phenomenal all season offensively. Uh, they're number two in the, in, the, uh, in the NBA in true shooting percentage. Uh, they put up 14-3 or they make 14 threes a game. They're scoring at an insane pace. And they are, all after all, the number one scoring offense in the NBA. They also don't play a lick of defense either. They're 29th <laughs> in the league in total defense as far as uh, points allowed per game. And the Bucks aren't that much better at 15th in the league in defense. We got two top 10 offenses, two bottom 15 defenses, and one nearly dead, dead last for a total that looks very tasty <clears throat> for, 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 for the over tonight. So the total that's been in the 230s for both these two teams has gone over in five of the six times that it's happened this season. So Oof. I'm playing two things tonight on this game. Let's hear it. I am playing the over 230, but that's going to be my small play on the game. I like the okay. over 230 on that game. I'm also going with the prop bet. Remember last night, Devin Booker got under 24 and a half points for me. That was good for our, our, our cash. Not necessarily good for him because he hurt his hamstring in the right. second quarter. But who cares? I'm a money guy for me. <laughs> I, I will. Um, I'm looking at Terry Rozier tonight, uh, over 17 and a half points. Uh, against teams that aren't that great defensively, and he's seen a bunch of them over the last 10 days. He is, aver- he is going for 31s and 27s and 22s. 17.5 feels like a really good number to get this at for Terry Rozier tonight because I think he's on a heater right now. And when a guy gets super hot like this, I'd like to be able to play him until he, get- until he tells me not to. So against a not necessarily great Bucks defense... I'm going Terry Rozier, over 17.5 points tonight for, for Charlotte. Uh, Scary Terry is back, Scary baby, Terry. and he's, he's playing really well this year. All right. Well, I'm also going to stick it uh, with the NBA. Um, the underdogs, you know what? They deserve our attention, too. Bad teams deserve our attention, too. And, Arky, I don't know if you saw this, but uh, Josh Giddy. so obviously I'm going to look at Rockets Thunder. Uh, Josh Giddy recently joined LaMelo and LeBron as the only teenagers in NBA history to reach 100 assists and 100 rebounds in their first 20 games. Thank you very much. Love that stat, and I love where this kid is headed. Um, <clears throat> just give us a few more years. Rockets, who are 4-16, and 16, uh, winless on, on the road, uh, will visit the Thunder, who are 6-14, and 4-6 four and six at home. OKC, the three-point favorite right now with a total of 2-12. The Rockets have won three of their last five and three straight. While my beloved Thunder have lost five of their last five and are looking to break a six-game losing streak at home tonight, and I think they will. This is the fourth time these teams have played each other this season already. Houston has won two of those, and OKC has one. I think they'll even it up. Uh, don't let their records fool you. These two have actually been really solid against the spread. The Thunder are the third best team in the league against the spread. OKC is seven and six, while the Rockets are five and nine, and they've combined for 22, 17, and one. I'm going to make this short and sweet. I like the Thunder to no one's surprise at minus three at home, and I'm not going to mess with the total. So there you have it. There's not a lot to say about a team that, you know, are kind of at the bottom. So it is what it is. I mean, you're are at the bottom. (laughs) You guys are lucky there's a New Orleans Pelicans that exists right now, is what what you are. (laughs) It's rough, you know, rebuilding phases. These things take time. Oh uh, yeah, that's a game. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. I, good luck. Just I, I trust you to. I trust you to handicap that game. That that's not for me. We went from one extreme to the other with Golden State Phoenix now to Rockets Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we did. We certainly did.